Hi everyone, Messi Coda here. Welcome to another episode in my FPS Face Off. In this video, I'm checking out the new FPS from Obsidian. Oh, nice shot, me. And this is the third video in our, what, the third kit in our FPS Face Off. The first was Next Gen FPS, then we had the Realistic FPS Prefab. Now, with UFPS, this is the oldest of all the FPS kits on Unity. So I'm very excited. I want to have a play about and I'm going to show you guys. Oh, oh getting a little brief introduction. Oh, run away. Getting shot. It's a bit scary this, don't I? See? So, guys, sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you in a second. Oh, if only we could lean around corners. Here I am inside Unity, I've got UFPS imported and I've loaded up Sky City demo. Let's click play. Okay, I'm inside the demo scene and if I push V, I get the third person view. And, oh, let's just take that out. Oh, my aim is bad. Okay, third person view. It's nice that they've got it. Um, I'm not sure if it's the camera or the controller or the animations but it just doesn't feel as good as the realistic uh, um, FPS prefab third person mode that's just um, my first impressions it's just something about it okay, running over weapons and the ammo to pick them up it's nice that you've got third person mode Um, yeah, like the animations, there's nothing on those animations. So, hmm. Let's go back into FPS mode. Seeing as we are reviewing it as an FPS face off. Yeah. Okay, we've got grenades, we've got different weapons. We've got a motorbike outside my room. And. Okay, it doesn't seem to be a lean left and right. I can't find it on my keyboard and Q and E just cycles through the weapons. C, crouch, which feels quite nice. It's a bit slow. Everything seems customizable. Now, uh, how does it look? Oh, wow. Jerk, jerk, jerk. That doesn't, that doesn't go well. Okay, so there's no lean left and right, can't find it. Hmm, we'll have to go in the manual to see if we can find that anywhere. Oh, hello. Nice, that is it, that's better. Okay, let's equip this bad boy. So, let's find something else to shoot. It does feel nice, I mean, movement left to right, jumping, it's not crazy, it's realistic type jump. It feels very, um, fluid and mature the controller first first person mode third person mode um, I was not happy at all not impressed not impressed which is odd you know you, this is um, a FPS kit and they've got their own separate obsiv have an additional oh and on who shooting me who shoot me obsiv have got a different third person controller so maybe they want you to go and get the third person controller and use that instead of using this one for both but as it is I'm gonna say don't really use this for the FPS mode and um, for the third person mode only for the FPS mode it would be harsh if I was saying don't use this for the FPS mode when it is an FPS control no, no FPS it's not bad I can't understand why out of the box there isn't a preset for leaning left and leaning right that's kind of like standard so you can peek around a corner to go oh, is there one around the corner now I've just got to do this e peekaboo manually and I get my head shot off so yeah I'm not too sure about why that is. I can't jump oh I can jump and shoot let's reload it's got a nice spread huh okay let's try this weapon reload hmm it's a shame. Looking back at the uh, the controller that we got with FPS weapons kit from 3D Masson, that had um, pretty much all we can see out of the box on this one. 
and it also had very beautiful animations. So I'm not entirely sold on UFPS. It does feel very nice. They have got um, an add-on for multiplayer using Photon. You can buy that and work out how to use it. It's for not for beginners, it's for intermediate for or advanced users. A demo scene to go, it's a beautiful demo scene they've made here. This is spectacular, it's like playing a game. You, you know, have a couple of people in here running around shooting each other. It'd be a lot of fun. Reminds me of the old Quake level game, um, Quake days. So, yeah, I mean, I can see why and the effects as you shoot. That's nice. Everything seems customizable. If we go to the hero here, let's check out the inspector. So ever is a you know controller for everything. There's loads of stuff here. Really need to sit and check out the manual to find out. But first, I mean for a preview for our FPS face-off using the UFPS controller, I can see how it's fighting against um, next-gen FPS and realistic FPS prefab. It is the most mature. It is the oldest of all of the FPS kits on the asset store. It's just, I don't know, um, I haven't gone into it too much, but I just was expecting a bit more, I reckon. It's hard to explain, hard to put my finger on it. I was just expecting a little bit more. I was expecting, I don't know, something a bit more fancy, saying as this is the, the grandfather of FPS controllers. So I don't have, let's see if there's another demo scene where they've got ladders and stuff that we can climb up. So let's try another one. Let's try another demo scene. Maybe that demo scene wasn't bringing out the best in it. Okay. So. Tommy gun. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the, uh, the FPS mode. Not terribly impressed with the third person mode. Okay, F. F and I'm carrying something. This is nice. This is nice. And then F again to drop it. There we go. Can we throw it? Yay! Left mouse button to throw it. So yeah, it's pretty. Oh, we've got a ladder. We've got. Don't press the button. F. I had to push the button. Oh! Well, it told me not to push the button, didn't it? So it's teleported me up here. I've got a melee weapon. And different types of swings. So that's nice. Hmm. And the ladder automatically puts you on the ladder. Oh, whoa, what the hell has happened here? Um. Okay, the camera on the ladder was a bit odd. Okay, now I'm stuck animating. Look at my shadow. That is, that is freaking me out. That is freaking me out. And up takes me down and down takes me up. So how does that look on third person mode? Wow. Wow, that'll give you, that'll give you nightmares. And down on my keyboard takes me up. Up on my keyboard takes me down bizarre but now up takes me up and down takes me down this is weird so if I come on if I get on it from the bottom up is up is up if I get on it from the top down is up and up is down that is just bizarre I am not overly impressed with that ladder. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not terribly keen on that ladder. We got speed ups, wee, and slowdowns. That's a nice. Ooh. However, not really something I'm looking for in particular. So it doesn't really help me out. Hmm. Hmm. I'm. Let's just push this button again. 
Oh. Let's get far away from this. That's funny. Everything's respawned. And I'm down to 12% health. I'm a little bit disappointed to tell you the truth. Um, it is, it feels, the FPS, like everything apart from going up the ladder and the fact that we can't lean left and right felt, ni felt nice. Apart from, so what's this? Mud, slime, uh, okay this is the physics. Ooh! Whee, that's nice. Okay, wet roof. This, here we go, this is more like it, moving platforms. Little demo scenes of what to expect. Wow. This is nice. And are we going to slide down? Nope. There we go. Wee. <laughs> yeah, it's quite fun. And what's head bump? Oh, wall deflect. Oh, bugger. Was that's odd. Go again. Oh. Okay. Head bump. Oh, I'm bumping my head on the on the platform above. That's clever. Full deflection. That's okay. Blown away. Mud or slime. Oh, that's because I'm slowly going down. Okay, this is a nicer demo scene. See, there are some fancy things in this pack. That's nice. And what's this one? Okay, earthquake, boss stomp, incoming artillery. Well, that was quite that was quite nice. Crashing the airplane. Raw mouse input. Mouse smoothing. Slow lens and acceleration. Acceleration on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Weapon perspective. Old school. Internet cafe. Modern shooter. I've got no idea what internet cafe is supposed to be. It's bizarre. Weapon camera. On. Off. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. most but everyone does that nowadays. Separate camera for your weapon. Okay, pivot. It's on the muzzle. Pivot on the grip. Oh, that's nice. On the chest. And elbow. That's interesting how they've got this kind of different level of customization. Wow, that's useful. So now I don't know. That was it. We're in the demo. Mm. Well, that was that's an interesting demo. And now we've got a clean scene. This is just just with nothing else in there. Just us. No weapons. No nothing. All right. So that's it for the introduction to UFPS in our FPS face-off. And compared to realistic FPS prefab and next-gen FPS, I'm gonna say that I just feel like UFPS lags behind. I can see how the physics, um, the fancy physics stuff that you get with this and the pivots for the weapons are a nice feature. But other than that, I mean, I just feel like the other controllers, the third-person mode in realistic FPS prefab was better the climbing up the ladders and that kind of control that you had in next gen was better so, and they had swimming and that was nice and realistic FPS had swimming and that was nice they had leaning um, very customizable as well so I don't know I just feel like um, UFPS has disappointed me a little bit I was expecting a lot more out of the three packs it is the only one that has the ability to have multiplayer without a lot of effort because you know you can buy the extra pack for multiplayer and as long as you're intermediate or advanced developer you should be able to get it working without a problem the others don't have that yet although 
next gen FPS say that multiplayer is coming soon. Alright guys, I'm going to sit and have a play. I really want to get the FPS weapons from 3D Masson into these kits. I want to have a play because let's just say that a lot of these demo scenes are let down by the weapons and the animations. But FPS weapons kit from 3D Masson is beautiful and is going to make any of these 3D control, these FPS controllers rather, come alive and be fantastic. Well, that's E for now. And guys, if you do like these videos and you want to see more, do click on that big juicy subscribe button. Comment. Your comments below mean a lot to me. I do try to respond to every single comment that we get. And if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.